I'm Andrew from the Proco Figure Sculpting Course, and I wanted to introduce this demo series from my friend and fellow sculptor, Leroy Transfield. Leroy is one of the co-founders of Figure Sculptors United, and he's been working as a professional sculptor for the last 27 years. He's one of my favorite sculptors. His work is phenomenal. All right, take it over, Leroy. Hi, my name's Leroy Transfield, and welcome to my studio. I have a full video uh, working with a model, and the model's nude. This one, uh, she's gonna be wearing a swimsuit. This video and the, uh, the longer video is about working with the model and how to interact with the model, how to get models, how to pose the model. And then uh, also in, in the longer videos, I, I, I talk about how to translate uh, the pose into your piece and how to maybe make adjustments and, and discern what you're looking at. So we're gonna have uh, a model I work with a lot uh, Chelsea, if she can come up here. So, so let's pretend that Chelsea is a new model and I've never worked with her before. So, and this is how I would do it for real. So the model would come up there and I'd ask them to stand on the model stand. Sometimes uh, if the model is nervous, to, to get them out of the nerves, I will say something like, pretend the model stand it has a force field around it. And then inside the model stand, you're a, you're a model. You, you can model nude and then when you're outside it, you're a regular person, you can put your robe on. And, so, and, and I've said that to some models and, and they like that. So there's a force field around uh, Chelsea. I'll look at her and then I have to give her directions. So I'll say something like, um, can you uh, put your weight on one leg? So, uh, move the leg out a little, okay? And then put your hand on your hip. Uh, what about put that hand on your head? And some of this uh, directing I'm doing is just to help get the nerves out of the model and also to get her used to me directing her. And so I say, okay, can you change that? Uh, do a mirror image of it with the other. Yeah, that's good. And so you can work with that. So that's w uh, one way. At least it gets the, the, the ball rolling. So something else I do with the model is I might say, uh, have you posed for other models? I mean, other artists? <laughs> yeah. And so... Show me a pose that you've done for another artist, standing up. So look, so, so look, that got her into another pose, so that's good. And then I might say something like, oh, uh, what are your interests? You like to uh, dance or you like yoga, right? So can you do like a standing yoga pose? Just do a standing one, don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, do like tree pose or something. I'm trying to think of like a standing one. Okay, see, look at that. Wonderful pose, okay. If that doesn't work, something else I do is I'll say, oh, uh, can you pantomime? Why don't you pretend there's a heavy basket to your right and pick it up and put it on a shelf on your left? Yeah, like that. And, and twist right around. Yeah, so see, look, so that, that's something. Um, another thing uh, I was saying is like you get a sword, pretend you're wielding a sword or a lightsaber and you're gonna fight a Jedi, yeah. A baseball bat, yeah, you could be doing a sport like that. So that's another good pose. Uh, and this is just to help loosen the model up. And uh, what about a bow and arrow? Yeah, a bow and arrow like that. Or, or actually stand that way and shoot the bow and arrow behind you. Keep your legs, in, keep your hips in front of you and then, and then pull it back. Yeah, see, so, so that's a twisting action there. So that's a good way. Oh, uh, another thing, if, if you see, I have set up on my studio, I have these straps. So pull down the straps. If nothing is working, I can use these straps. These are handy to have. You have to suspend them sometime, somehow from the ceiling. So she can use them for leaning. Sometimes I get models to hold them, grab them and separate them out if you can. Like that. And then twist. And then twist the other way. Great. Step forward with one foot. And now I uh, hold them lower, like so they're they're at uh, horizontal. Yeah, like that, like that. Twist this way. See, aren't they cool poses? So, so that's one way uh, you can get uh, a model to pose. Another way is we have modeling aids. If they're going to stand, it's good to have a um, a kitchen mat like this, a soft, spongy kitchen mat, so that they won't get fatigue on them. So here's some things we have. We have an exercise ball, the yoga wheel, and then the yoga block. And she'll show you some poses she can do with that. So Chelsea is pretty good with that yoga wheel. She uses it to exercise herself, not just to model with. So that's a good pose. 
some good poses. And then here's the yoga ball. The yoga ball is, uh, oh, and, the, and the wheel are almost the same, but this is a, a little easier on the body and you don't get as obtuse angles. The yeah, the yoga wheel's not for the beginner. Nice. That's a good pose. I think I've done a, a pose like that. Yeah. And then the yoga block. Yeah, so the, the yoga blocks are good at altering the terrain. So instead of having everything flat, it also helps on her knees too, uh, like that. Show how you can do a standing up one and how you can, it, it helps to vary. Like if, if she stands on one, then it helps to throw out the hip a little bit more. And so as long as she can keep her balance, maybe you want to even hold on to a strap, help to keep your balance. See, that's a nice line. It's a great line. If you want to see the full video of me working with Chelsea, I sculpt in it. Uh, Chelsea takes some other poses, uh, making those poses that she, makes available and and they're all undraped and I give a lot more tips too. So if you want to know more about working with a, a model and you're a figure artist, it's a great video to get. Enjoy and I'll catch you on my next video. Thank you. If you're interested in figurative sculpture or interested in working with a live model, be sure to get the full master demo series at proco.com slash Leroy. In his full premium demos, he'll go over his process for a concept sculpture sketch from imagination, as well as principles of design in sculpture and how to work with a live model. With your help, we can continue to build out the sculpture content at proco.com.